What's up everybody, it's Eric with Trout's Fly Fishing in Denver. In today's installment of how to get started in fly tying, we are going to talk about the whip finish. Whip finish, um, used for, for finishing up your fly and tying that last knot. Um, so essentially what a whip finish is, it's a half hitch with multiple turns. So it's a, it's a stronger knot. You can actually build a little bit of a head on your fly while you're doing the knot. Um, nice thing about it is you can do one and with a little bit of head cement, solid, not gonna come undone. Um, so for a whip finish, um, you wanna pull off uh, a good amount of thread. I usually pull off you know six or seven inches of, of thread out of the bobbin. And so if you can see that tool has a hook and then there's a notch right down here at the bottom. So what I wanna do is moving away from me towards the thread, I wanna hook the thread and then I wanna bring my bobbin up into that notch. And so what I wanna do is I wanna bring my bobbin up above the hook and as I kind of let go of the tool here so it'll spin, it spins freely. So now what I want to do is just manipulate that so you can kind of see it looks basically like a backwards four. And so now what I want to do is I can move my bobbin up and down and adjust where that thread is. So what I want to do is I want to bring it right down to the hook shank. And then if I just start turning the tool three or four times around is good. Um, and then if I bring the tool up, I can pop the bottom part of that out. And then if I pull on the bobbin without letting the spool spin, I can pull that loop down and then I pop the hook out. And that forms the knot. So I'll show it one more time. So I'm gonna go away from me towards the thread and hook the thread, bring the bobbin up so that I get in that notch at the bobbin or at the, the whip finisher and I'm holding it so it won't turn. So now I'm gonna go ahead and let the tool turn, bring it up, form that backwards four, bring that down to the hook shank, one, two, three, four turns, and then pop that bottom part out, pull down, pop the hook out. That forms the whip finish and now I can trim that and not gonna come undone. Um, if you do one, one or two um, when you're finishing out your fly, plenty strong. Little head cement, your flies will stay together. Um, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, be sure to check out our YouTube channel. Have a great day.